Hi everyone, um, I'm here with my uh, good friend Jeremiah. So he's uh, very, um, I'm very appreciative of him because he's going to share a bit more that the entire experience that he has with me in his investment journey. Uh, a bit about him is that uh, both of us used to be uh, colleagues, ex colleague in PetroChina when I was a risk analyst. And recently he's aware that I became an investment consultant. Who, uh, doing consulting uh, for people who are looking to do investment. So we actually reach out and have a discussion. So I'd like him to probably share a few thoughts uh, with you. So, the, so yep. Jeremiah, um, I, I would like to ask you, right, what's your biggest challenge before uh, partnering with me in areas of investment? Okay. Uh, to be honest, I think uh, from my point of view, I'm afraid of uh, first is fighting of inflation. Because I know that uh, our salaries are not increasing as fast as the inflation rate. So that is the first point. And the second point of concern will be, when is the best time to invest? Because uh, for us as, uh, as normal working professionals, we may not be as well informed in the market as compared to uh, Alvin and his, his team that are, doing the, they are studying the, the market uh, maybe 8 hours or maybe even 24 hours. So, okay. yeah, so that is the, the two concerns that I have, right, <clears throat> before okay. the album. Yeah. Okay. I mean, um, thanks for that. Though, so, I also like to ask a bit more, right? what's your biggest takeaway or transformation that you have experienced uh, um, recently? Like, can you share a bit? Like, because I, we, you became one of my investors in November 2019. As of now, it will be about, what, uh, 10 months or yeah. 9 months, really. How was the... What's the transformation for you? I think uh, back in November, it was uh, prior to this entire COVID situation. So uh, the market was very volatile because all the, all the aviations and all the businesses are being affected. So uh, my point of view is a, the risk might be high because that is my concern. But uh, fortunately, um, during I think May or April, if I'm not wrong, uh, Alvin gave me an update and then he mentioned that, uh, hey, we managed to get a 15% or 20% uh, profit in our investment. So I was like, wow, okay, it sounds good. So, yeah. the, so the after story is, I can tell you, uh, I have full faith in my agent and investor. <laughs> okay. Yep. Um, and, and the next, I mean, the next thing is, right, like, how valuable are these takeaways? It's like, I mean, as you know, mm. uh, your, your own portfolio went through the volatility in the market, the ups and downs. Um, just to give some background for people who is watching this uh, uh, video testimony, right, is that the market actually dropped a good 40% uh, from February to March. And yet, uh, Jeremiah's portfolio also grew by 15%. So the actual return that we achieve for Jeremiah is not just 15, by the way, is 40 plus 15. So we managed to get a 55% kind of uh, protection for him. That's the kind of work that we do. So how valuable do you think that this will be for you and your family especially? I think for me personally, uh, it will be more of knowledge because um, from Alvin, uh, he has constantly guided us through his videos and all his webinars, uh, stating updates on the current market situation. So uh, first thing is knowledge because uh, you get to understand the market better from your point of view. Then you start to become savvier or rather more savvy. So then second thing, <laughs> then second, second point will be more for planning. Because uh, you may not just be planning for your first child or second child. So maybe planning, if you're planning for more than that, uh, of course, uh, you need more cash on hand. So instead of, let, instead of letting the cash sit in the bank, why not just do some investment just to protect yourself and your family further? Cool. So, so from this, uh, so from this uh, experience, uh, these are the two biggest takeaways that I have. Okay. Um... What do you like most about Elvin, uh, who is the one that is um, helping you and partnering with you and your family especially? What do you like most about? I think, personally, I think Elvin mentioned that we know, quite, we know each other quite a while back for, I think, around 10 years. So, uh, those that uh, 
who do not know his background. Uh, he is really good in uh, being a trader and studying the market. So therefore, he has proven himself within this period that uh, he is able to monitor the market for us while we focus on our family. So that's the first thing that I would say that he is very passionate about his job. And of course, second thing is if he asks us to actually invest, definitely he has his own cash in there as well. So if let's say, uh, he, because from his point of view, he doesn't want us to lose money and he himself also don't want to lose money as well. <laughs> so yeah. therefore, uh, not to worry with your portfolio because I have faith in him uh, and and I know that he's very passionate about his work. So uh, what you can do is maybe get to know Elvin more. Then, uh, of course, you, you will understand him better. And you can learn more, more from him as well. Okay. Okay. So, um, I mean, um, probably the last question is, like, what were your biggest uh, concern or your biggest uh, skepticism uh, you had before like, engaging with Elvin in the areas of investing again? Because... Uh, many people out there will really like to understand, um, I mean, for your life stage, right? You just have a newborn, a second uh, a newborn daughter. And what will be the main concern you have? Because you have added commitment, but yet you still decided to go ahead with the investment for not just yourself, but your family members also. So what was your biggest concern in that sense? I think my, I think my concern would be everybody's concern as well. Because we are not, so well informed of the market as compared to uh, Alvin and his team. Uh, my, myself is more towards risk. Because okay. every one of us, uh, we know that this, this is our hard-earned money and therefore we don't want to lose it all in the market. So yeah. therefore, uh, our, my point of view is to re uh, mitigate the risk as low as, low as possible. Okay. So, uh, given my understanding of Alvin, um, once I had, uh, once I give him the opportunity to, to invest, uh, he has uh, given me the assurance that the risk is being mitigated because he studies the market thoroughly. Uh, I'm not too sure about other agents, but uh, from my understanding of him, he is the most diligent one around. Okay, cool. <laughs> of course, uh, of course uh, I mean, another thing is that, uh, why, why would you recommend uh, Elvin to your friends and your family or the people around you? Um, personally, I know Alvin for quite a while. He's a really nice guy and he's really engaging on, on <laughs> he's really engaging with you and your family as well. So, uh, given that point, uh, he is not forceful to you, uh, mm -hmm. to anyone, even in, yeah, including me as well. Um, so, uh, at your own comfort level, uh, he will try to uh, touch base with you and then get to know you better before uh, before you commit anything to him. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you. Uh, I mean, just one more question. Uh, remember earlier on when we were chatting just now, um, there's this thing that you say that I want to make you more savvy. Mm -hmm. um, can you share, can I share with people why Alvin want to do this? I mean, I, of course, I explained to you, but I really want you to really understand why am I trying to educate or make all my investors as savvy as they can. I, uh, can you share with them what was the number one reason that I, I am doing this for them? Okay, um, and because personally, because we are investing. So from Elvin's point of view, uh, he wants us to be actually knowledgeable on the funds that we, on, on the money that we put into the funds and the, the purpose for it. So uh, through his webinars and education, you will get to learn uh, the reason why he placed the investments into these bonds and these funds, and then why are they considered safe or why are they considered good during this uh, crisis. So from this, uh, you will be able to have a lesson, another separate lesson on how and why you need to be savvy if let's say you are into investment. Yep. Okay, so uh, thank you, bro. Uh, for for your for your kind words and I really appreciate that. So no uh, I'm, we're gonna end the video now. So bye everyone who is listening bye. to this uh, video. Bye. Bye.